We're delighted to have two such important works by Glenn Brown in the sale. On the one hand, we have this monumental landscape painting behind me, The Tragic Conversion of Salvador Dali from 1998. And on the other hand, we have from 1991, uh, Atom Age Vampire, which is important because it was the very first painting that Glenn Brown made based on an art historical precedent. <laughs> version of Salvador Dali is based on one of the panels from John Martin's triptych which hangs in the Tate Gallery and in this work Glenn Brown transforms that romantic image into a much more futuristic scene. The human element has been removed entirely from Glenn Brown's painting. In their place, in the place of the fallen city, is this vision of a sci-fi citadel perched on the cliffs, much more akin to the science fiction illustrations of Chris Foss. One of the impressive things about Glenn is the incredible technical virtuosity of his paint handling in this monumentally scaled canvas over three metres in width renders this small painting by, by John Martin onto this cinematic scale, which gives it this incredible visual and arresting presence. It's often remarked that Glenn Brown's painting has this absence of religion, and I think when you compare this to the John Martin original, which was a painting produced very much for a God-fearing public, there is certainly a noticeable absence of religion in his paintings, but let's not forget the title of this work, The Tragic Conversion of Salvador Dali. What he's referencing here is the conversion of Salvador Dali to Catholicism, which marked the end of his best painting. So it brings together a lot of what Glenn was working on at the time. I think for that reason, it's probably the best landscape painting that, that he made.